Another great addition to React 16 is the support for portals. Portals provide a first-class way to render children into a DOM node that exists outside of the DOM hierarchy of the parent component. Let's explore this together as it provides a great way to support models in your applications. So here we have a very basic component called app. It renders a few uh, HTML tags and we will add a model in here. So uh, let's imagine we would have uh, a model component in which we would render uh, h1 tag saying I am a model. Alright, let's now implement this component. I'm going to switch to uh, its own file here. Uh, this is again a very standard implementation for a React component model here, uh, which simply renders a div and uh, whichever children we have. Alright, so what we can see is that we indeed have the model rendered in the HTML, but nothing uh, special for now. If I inspect this element, we can see that the div and the h1 tag are here next to the p and the header that we had before. So let's transform this into a, a portal. Now let's see how we can make use of portals to render this model component. Uh, before doing this, let's go to our index.html. What we can see here is that by default we have a div with an ID of root. This is where our application will be rendered, right? If I go to the index file of my application, we can see that indeed the app component, which is the root of our application, is rendered into that root div, right? Let's go back to this HTML uh, for now and let's add a new tag here called portal, all right? So we have another uh, div tag which comes after the root div where the whole uh, application is rendered, okay? Okay, let's see how we can make use of this. I will go back to the model uh, component we had before, which simply renders a div for now within the root tag, the root tag hierarchy. And I will slightly change it by doing react dom dot create portal. Create portal takes two arguments. The first one is whatever to render. I will simply render um, this dot props dot children here. And the second argument is where to render. So here I can say document dot get element by ID and give it the name portal. And if I save this file and um, we inspect, uh, so as you can see, nothing really changes here. But if we inspect the HTML now, we can see that within the root tag, I have my application with the header and the text, but I also have my div of ID portal and here, is where the model was uh, rendered, right? If I go back to the app, we can see that the model here and the h1 tag was not rendered next to the header and the p, but was rendered later on in the portal uh, div. This is great for models. And finally, with React 16, Facebook decided to change the license of React. Previously, as you can see on this slide, React was licensed with the BSD license plus an extra clause uh, stating that if you sue Facebook, you could lose uh, the grant for patents about React. This has been changed for React 16 and uh, React now has a MIT license such as Angular or Vue.js.